Okay, I just made a video doing an update on the jungle carpet, but I'm gonna make this one specifically, this video specifically about how to find your snake if you lost it. Okay, first thing first, cause I didn't fully elaborate in the other video. First things first, you try a couple of different tactics, different methods, like I did, I tried about three. And um, the one that best helped the one that actually solved the problem I was playing last. So the first thing I did to try to catch the snake is I got his feed in tank. Well, this is what I feed him in. I took a solder and iron, put some holes in it, put his name on it. Um, and I had this, which I had, um, this was actually what I used to bathe him in. But um, since I lost him, I put some holes in it, and I had a mouse in here, okay? A nice little cute, cute little white mouse with red eyes. It was destructive. I had this little, this is like a, if y'all ever had that orange juice, this is an orange juice top, filled it up with water. Um, I had a leftover chicken bone for the mouse to eat. This is all mouse stuff. Put some uh, tissue in here for him to chew up and stuff. And I had some tissue rolls in here for the hot end. So, this was a perfect little setup for the mouse to live in. Now, I took this setup, put it in his eating tank, or whatever I just called it, and I left it like this. So, now, this allowed him to be able to smell the mouse, or taste it, or see it, or hear it anything okay so i left i left the mouse in here for a couple of days like constantly changing the water cleaning it out and all that so my snake was gone for eight days so i had time to actually learn how to raise a mouse so kept it like this just in case zeus went in zeus is my snake my jungle carpet him just in case he went in I was hoping that he would stay in here and try to figure out how to get to the mouse. So by the time I came back to my room, I would see him in here. That didn't work. I ended up having a mouse <laughs> until I found my snake. Um, and not once did I ever see my snake in there. So what I did with the mouse, once I found my jungle carpet python, I fed him to my ball python. That's Deuce, like number two. That was my second snake right there. This is my third. So, the mouse trip, the mouse tactic didn't work. All right, so, X that one out. Okay, uh, another thing I tried. Okay, well, first, first and foremost, I went looking for him. I seen, uh, I noticed some of my stuff, this little speaker, some markers and stuff. Here's some, uh, it's for my Venus fly trap and some freeze dried worms or whatever, blood worms. But uh, I seen this stuff knocked over on the floor. Okay. I seen all this stuff on the floor. Blah, 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 whoop de whoop. So that evidently told me that he had been back here. Alright. So I followed his trail, tried to find out where, where all he had been. So I went all back over there. And I said, maybe he's in this pile of clothes. I flipped my room upside down and downside up, right side to the left and left side to the right. All right, didn't find him. So I don't know where he was at for the for the eight days that he was missing. So that was just another tactic that I used. I just tried to find him, didn't work. But I, find, I followed his trail. He left a very blank trail, but I, I couldn't find him because I got a pile of clothes. So, I mean, and I got a little Tupperware right here. I, I checked throughout all that and all this stuff. I'm a very busy person. And I hate folding clothes, so they're my clean clothes. And, um, I mean, I have a lot of things because I have a lot of jobs. So, aside from that, didn't find him, just looking for him. Didn't catch him, trying to use the mouse. And I wasn't about to let the mouse run freely in my room. I mean, that would be stupid. A couple of people told me to do that. I mean, that's kind of stupid. Like, the mouse is going to get loose. The snake is going to be loose. They might never meet. But you're going to have a whole bunch of mouse droppings everywhere. Okay, that's stupid. So, the last tactic that I used was the one that actually worked. And I'm sure, I mean, that's why most people probably clicked on this video. Even though it's only about two views. The tactic that worked, okay? 
Let's see. This is not the original top that I had. This is a mesh screen top or whatever. This is not the top that I had. I had a plastic top. If you've seen my first video about a year and a half ago, whenever I made that first video on Zeus, it was really small. I had a plastic top. So that top had broken. I had it was three sections. It was a screen section, plastic section, plastic section. Okay. I had accidentally pushed down one time on it. And the mesh section has separated from the plastic section. These are, these are the tops that you'll see at Walmart all the time, okay? That's what kind of top I have for this 10-gallon tank. So, once that broke, I had to go get a new top, all right? And I figured out how to use some new clips and all that stuff. But I got a new top, and um, just to replace it, because I didn't want him to get out anymore, had I found him or anything, you know? So... Anyway, got the heating lamp that sits right above it, right above the uh, screen top. And um, so, my screen top was on. I actually, uh, well actually, let me tell you the last tactic that I tried as well. I tried leaving the top open like this, thinking, oh, Zeus is going to come home. Nope, didn't work, okay? So, he was gone for eight days. None of these tactics work. So, what I did was I took his cage with the new screen top, heating lamp right over it, and I took my room, the AC, my roommates, my sweet mates, I don't have any roommates, my sweet mates were very upset, and, um, but they'll live. I put the, I put the uh, AC as low as it could possibly go, or as high as it could possibly go, however you look at it, tomato, tomato, potato, potato, root route, fruit fout. I, I put it as low as it could possibly go. And I took the snake cage and left. I got the little zoom in, uh, timer, heat timer, blah, 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 whatever. I took his, uh, I left his heat lamp on all night, every single day. And my room was freezing every single day. All right. So if you know about snakes, I mean, obviously you do because you're probably looking for yours. You know that they need heat to survive. So I figured. Hopefully, he'll come out and find the heat because I didn't want him to freeze to death. But, you know, I didn't want to get, um, I didn't want to scare anybody with a snake loose in the dorm. So, I mean, it worked. Uh, the heat lamp was right here. I kept the top on the cage just like this. I kept it closed down. And one day, I came into my freezing room and um, he was sitting right on top. Just curled up, sitting right under the heat lamp, okay? He was just chilling right on top of the cage. And um, so that's how I found my stay after eight days. I think I turned the heat, I, I think I turned the AC up, like, or down, like, on day seven. Like, after a week, I'm like, okay, this mouse ain't working. I couldn't find him. I don't see him. I don't see any more trails. Um, so, I mean, that was my last... That was my last tactic, and it seemed to have worked. So if you're trying to figure out how to find your snake, try that. Freeze up your room. Freeze them out. Make sure everything is sealed up. I had a towel under my door so that he couldn't get out any cracks. I had, there's a little hole um, under my bed that's actually along the wall right above the outlet. You can see I taped it up because I didn't want him. Didn't want them to uh, get into it and then be stuck in the wall and die in the wall. Then I had to smell that. So, taped up the hole. Looked for any other holes that were along the wall or anything. There were no more that I found. So, I mean, ultimately, he came out because it was cold. He found the heat and he was just relaxing. So, I came in one day. Picked him up. Got very elated. All excited and whatnot. He had been gone for eight days. And uh, here he is today. That was like a couple months ago, maybe a month or two ago. But here's my jungle carpet, Zeus. He's not, he's not snappy, nippy, whatever, whoop de whoop. He's a uh, very chill, but you know he is a snake, so he's he's on guard sometimes. You know he don't want to die. But um, I guess in about a year he'll be completely calm to where he's just never worried about anything. But as of right now, I mean, we good people, I'm good people, I feed them bi-weekly, so 
every two weeks. Uh, about three or four pinky rats. I wanted to start them on rats so that I didn't have to transition from mice to rats. And then he not eating, blah, blah, blah. All this other stuff that I've seen that people go through. But, um, yeah. Let me know if that works. And, uh, yeah. I'm excited to hear See if anybody else can use this tactic and it actually works for them. Because all this other stuff that I seen on YouTube didn't work. The mouse didn't work. Following his trail didn't work. Looking at I mean, like, it, nothing works. So, hopefully this works for you. Alright.